Team is back. He's finally finding form and it's getting nearer and nearer the heights he once reached. But will he ever get there? Uh, we'll get into all of that in today's show. So hello, my name's Henry Tui. Uh, welcome to the channel and subscribe if you love tennis. Also, I tried to make the setup look nice. You can see the racket, but actually I block all the decorations, which is quite annoying, but you can just see the balls there. So it's not totally a loss. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So just a bit of context. Dominic Team injured his right wrist, uh, he's right-handed, um, in 2021 and missed the rest of the 21 season and was just out for nine months recovering and trying to get back to the tour uh, after his surgeries. Um, but he's finally been picking up in 2022. Um, but so far this season, he's been four and nine. Um, but in the last week and a half, he's finally finding form and winning some matches. Um, it's just clicking for him. So last week, he defeated Amira Savori, his highest ranked player that he had faced all season, and won. And then he faced RBA in the next round, again his highest ranked opponent, um, and beat him too uh, at the Swedish Open. Uh, but then he did eventually lose out to a, a very dangerous clay court player, player uh, Sebastian Byers, who is playing fantastically this season. Uh, and he reached the final of that tournament. And today he saved a match point and won a third set tiebreak just edging out Hugo Gaston, who's also a very, very dangerous player on clay. Um, but he himself is looking dangerous again, which is the main thing. He's, he's becoming potent again, is really creating and dictating. Um, and the main thing that he lacked um, was his forehand. His backhand, he never really lost. He was still very potent on that wing, uh, but his biggest liability was his forehand, which thankfully is looking better and better as he finally gets this match time. Um, he was just losing the RPM, just not getting the top spin he usually did, and just not doing the damage, and not letting him dictate play how he wants to. He wants to dictate on his forehand, and that's how he won, that's how he wins matches. Um, yeah, as I said, his win over RBA was by far his biggest win of the season. And saving that match point against Gaston, uh, I feel like will really give him the confidence um, as he's just playing so much better than he has this season. Um, and it's just massive for him. Every win and every match he plays, just getting the experience under his belt again. Um, and yeah, as I say, match time is what he needs. And uh, he's finally broken out of his round one losing streak. He's finally getting slowly deeper into tournaments, winning back-to-back -back matches. And he's getting that time on court, which is absolutely what he needs to improve. Um, in the next round, he faces Federico Del Bonis. Um, who is very good on clay, um, but we will all watch his progress with great interest and uh, best of luck for him in that match. Um, so now let's get into it. So can he reach the heights he once did? Uh, so just a bit of context. He reached a career high of number three in the world in 2020 and was consistently beating top players and won his first and only Grand Slam uh, at the US Open. Um, so can he ever get there again? Well, I think he can get close for sure. Um, he is a little bit older. So I don't feel like he will reach his absolute peak again or surpass it uh, ever again. But I think a consistent ranking of top 20 is, is very reasonable uh, year round. Um, but with how good his game is uh, and his mentality and how hard he works on and off the court, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he keeps on climbing. And if he keeps improving as he does at this rate, eventually it will level off. But if he keeps trying as hard as he is, um, he could, yeah, he could get top 10 again and get really close. Um, and just what's really exciting for his fans is that it's the American hardcore swing now and he's finding his form and moving into the American hard courts where he's always played fantastic. As I said, he won the US Open. It's a very exciting prospect. And uh, let's see how far he can climb in the rankings this year. Uh, so vamos team and show us all what you can do. Um, but I've been Henry too. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.